for four weeks, you guys. Four weeks of flight attendant training. It's gonna be the best day. <laughs> Opening some champagne. It attacked me. It was, a, it was a really fun environment. Cheers to more adventures than ordeals. It's my mission to help people fly happy. He worked this morning at 5.30, right? Yep. 5.30, how'd your work go? It was good. Yeah, busy? Uh, yeah, we had a tournament today, so. Oh, nice. It was uh, really saw busy and then really boring. We some people uh, yeah. yeah, we saw some people coming through. Did you make it on time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, it ended up being all, all good. Great, Mike had to wake up. It was really fun though, the, the tournament had a bunch of sponsors, so, you know, we got all the tournament people on their cars, we got all the sponsors set up. I stuck a huge like you know the things that they have at the PJ tournaments like the big oh flags. yeah the big yes so I guess they have like a blaze pizza one that I could like stick in the ground and they had a uh, Tesla was one of the sponsors so they parked the Model X on the oh shipping, yeah the short game area and they had like the clamshell doors up it was a, it was a really fun environment and they had uh, breakfast sandwiches for the guys did well, you get to eat one yeah well oh. they had extra nice so they gave them to us which was nice are you gonna go to sleep now yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put on college football and take a nap. I think that sounds like a great yeah. idea. <laughs> All right, good morning, everyone. Well, good afternoon now. It's one o'clock, and today is big day. It is Saturday. Ryan was working, college football. Mike is very busily making food. Look at how it smells so good. Those peppers smell so good. Mike, would you like to share with us what it is you are making? A chili. Yes, we're making our famous turkey chili. So one of the reasons is, right, Ryan? Oh, is that the the aforementioned breakfast sandwich? Yeah, I don't know how it is. Wow, that's better than the one I gave you. Whoa. Holy cow. Nice. Nice is right. All right, so tomorrow I leave for four weeks, you guys, four weeks of flight attendant training. And one of the things I wanted to make sure to do is to... Um, Fill these guys up with a bunch of food that they could have while I'm gone. Mike's, he's better at other things. He's not necessarily the what? best. I don't know, Mike, but the best dinner maker. Like, Keep yourself. For, him, for him, a good dinner is just um, elbow macaroni with butter and salt, like every night. There's really no nutrition in that. It's fine, it's filling, all well and good, but I wanted to make sure to make a variety of foods that Ryan could take out of the freezer and go ahead and eat. So I'm making four different meals. I will share those with you. I will put the recipes in the, um, in the um, description below if you'd like to get those. But the four recipes I'm making, I'm making turkey chili, well, Mike's helping me. Pulled pork, turkey chili, um, Olive Garden chicken, and um, meatballs with sauce. So I can share those, and those are things that can be frozen and then eaten later and pulled out. I also went on a Costco run yesterday and got all kinds of food for Rye Guy because he wants to be able to just grab and eat as he can. So we got some cheese pizza, we got some taquitos, we got some breakfast sandwiches, we got chicken nuggets. Did you see the chicken nuggets down there? Chicken nuggies. I got a bunch of shredded cheese and a whole bunch of eggs because I know he likes making cheese and eggs. We have hummus and there's the stuff with the meatballs. So anyway, we are ready to go. Oh, and snackies. Ryan, I got you some snackies, which I'm yes. I'm normally not a snacky. But I don't buy snacks, so I just don't think they're good for you. But we got them applesauce, we got goldfish, protein bars, tortilla uh, strips, popcorn, all kinds of stuff. So they are set and ready for me. Are you sad that I'm going now? Yeah, but the food makes it better. <laughs> And this is what my room looks like right now as I'm putting together all the things. There's Alice sleeping on my bed. Putting together all the things that I'm gonna pack. I will. It will look much more organized a little bit later and I'll share with you guys all the things that are going in my bag. There's my devotional and my shoes and all kinds of stuff in here. So anyway, packing for four weeks for training is um, a little daunting. So I've been working on it for quite some time now, but um, I'm getting ready. I go through bouts of nervous and excited. And um, for those of you guys who don't know, if you're just starting our channel, I'm Jill and I just got hired as a, well, four months ago, got hired as a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines. And I leave tomorrow for training for four weeks and um, I will be gone. So these guys are gonna hold down the fort and um, it's gonna be great. Actually today, I am more excited than nervous. <laughs> All right, it's time to make my chicken recipe and I'm gonna share it with you. It's slow cooker olive garden chicken pasta and there are literally one, two, three, four, five ingredients. That's my kind of meal. 
So uh, we start out with one and a half pounds of chicken breast, 16 ounces of Olive Garden Italian dressing. You can use a different dressing if you want to. This one has a little bit of like, high in salt. So if you want to do something different, you can. Um, but it's so good. And then this is a quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. One black, we use low fat cream cheese. If the boys knew what was in this, they would never eat it because they claim they don't like Parmesan cheese and cream cheese, but they love this meal. And a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And I just shake it in there until I get a good amount. And then you just cook this in the crock pot on high for four hours or low for six hours. And then. While the chicken cooks, I'm gonna start the chili. So we have peppers and we're gonna put in onions in just a second. Add the onion and cook that baby up. Really until they're soft. All right, minor mishap here, you guys. Um, I kept the turkey on low because it was cooking while we were at church and I kept with the top on it and it just blew up. Look, there's turkey all over the floor. It sorry, Mike. Huh? It attacked me. It attacked Mike. I'm so sorry. But now we have less, well, it's gonna be enough, right? Sugar. That is terrible. So, lesson, do not leave the turkey cooking on the stove while you're at church. That's it. All the ingredients are in here. We have our onions and peppers, tomatoes, a bunch of beans, I use kidney and black, both red and um, dark and light kidney beans. And then um, our turkey chili, we're gonna mix that all together and then with some chili seasoning mix, boop, and let it simmer. That's the thing. Oh my gosh, all right you guys, that is what the chili ended up looking like. This is what tonight's dinner looks what like. Look, I put the chick, look, which one? That's Pop. Nan and Pop showed up. Oh mom, look, come here. I made this. One of Ryan's favorite dishes tonight. Where are you? What? There she is. Say hi, Nana. <laughs> it's slow it? cooker Olive Garden chicken. Come smell it. And pasta. Oh. So you guys, after I made that chicken and, and slow cooked it, the slow cooker, then I boiled, or Mike boiled for me, some pasta and we mixed that baby in and then you serve it like that. Oh, that With looks a little delicious. salad. Well, you you're put, welcome to have some. Did you put garlic in it? No, it's not. No garlic. Oh, we're, special day. I know. I'll tell you what's in there. What? The, time. It is a special day. We're create. We're opening some oh. champagne <laughs> to celebrate for me going away. <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's no. A success, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> success. Here's to more adventures than ordeals. Oh, that's a great. Here, here. Here, here. 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 They're going to be great. Thank you, baby. Great. Speaking of that, Ooh. when you get a chance, there's a little okay. send-off. Okay. All right, so mom and dad brought me a little gift. Let's see what this is. A beautiful bag, by the way. Love the bag. Yes, well, maybe you can reuse it. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. Right. <laughs> coming up in about six months. <laughs> Ooh, look. Beautiful. Mama, I was noticing you have them in your ears, yes, too. Yes, I got you a pair and I got oh, me a pair. So, so we have mother-daughter earrings while we're flying. We can wear those while we're thinking of each other. We will. Every time I put those in and more, I will think of each other. Okay. Thank you very oh, much. I love them. Welcome. I'm only bringing a few pairs of earrings to training anyway and for the tennis team because I just want little, like, little ones. Werther's. I love my Werther's. Yes, that Thank would be nice you. for plain. You know, you get a little, you just need a little A snack. little, yes, a little sweet, something, something. Thank you very much. You're very I'll welcome. go through those in about half hour. <laughs> I love them. And then, and so the adventure begins. Aww. How apropos. Yes, it is an adventure. And it has and then, a little pink bicycle. It does. With a basket. Yes. Just, Just like, like I like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I'm going to put this next to my bed in the hotel. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what about that card hand? Huh? About that card. Oh, yeah. Look at this. 
This is a card from, um, well, it's from Nan and Pap, but this artwork is from Katie. When Katie was in like third or fourth grade, she made this artwork and then they had this option at the school where you could turn it into greeting cards. So we did it for Brennan and Katie. I don't think we ever did it for Ryan. His yes, art wasn't that yes, good. Oh, we did? I'm just kidding. Okay, Ryan has one too. Good gift for grandparents. So this is her artwork with her little flower. How cute that is. To our sweet Jill, best of luck as you fly off to your newest adventure. We are so proud of you and know you will be the it girl at Southwest Airlines. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're Love very, mom and dad. Well. I hope so. That is my goal. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. As I say, it's my Great. mission to help people fly happy. Great. That's my mission. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming over, Mom. Oh, well, thank you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. Hurry up. Thank you. I will. I'll stay in touch with you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming over, Pat. Love you. <laughs> Are you guys, I am getting very close to being finished. The only thing is I don't have a lot of room there, and I still have some food to put in, and I still have some more stuff over here to put in. But I think I can make it work. I'm, like, jiggling things around, um, getting ready to zip up. And we're watching the Florida State game right now. It is about 9.30. And I do have to get up very early tomorrow morning. So I'm going to try to wrap this up um, in just a few. Hey, okay. you guys, I got everything packed. I can't believe it. Well, I say everything. I have a few things still out, but I'm going to mush them in my bag tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What made you happy, right guy? Uh, nothing. After <laughs> you had a big slump. Oh, and nice. then college football and hanging with Kelly. Excellent. What made you happy, guy? Going to the beach with all my friends. Oh. And then I was to be with you guys. Nice. Thank you. Was it sunny there? No. Okay. No. Very it, very it doesn't make me happy that it was cloudy that you were there, but Mike and I were planning on going to the beach today, and I'm so glad that it wasn't like this beautiful sunny day that I missed because I was way too busy packing and all that stuff. So awesome. And cooking and all that. All right, you guys, what made me happy today was definitely hanging out with everybody when mom and dad came over and Callie came over. I just love... um a big group of people, so it was really very fun, and I'm happy to have everything packed, like I say, almost, and ready to go tomorrow. Dang. It's hard to, hard to, I, what? You didn't even go. I know, it's it's hard to fathom, but, yeah. um, but you know, once you're into the swing of things, before you know it, I'll be back, Ryan. Mm -hmm. You'll hardly miss me. Great. All right, I know. <laughs> but I'll see you tomorrow morning. You're going to work tomorrow morning. So you guys, be sure to stay tuned and um, watch yesterday's video and where we prepared and did a lot of cool things getting ready for this, but also stay tuned for our journey as Ryan and Mike have a bachelor pad. Oh, Callie, keep them on the straight and narrow, okay? Thank you. And the cats. And the cats, thank you. Yes, I have a feeling you're gonna be taking care of the cats. Yeah. Did you see the checklist downstairs? I put it on the chalkboard. Okay, thank you. And- uh, Wait, really quick. What? Wait, is dad leaving tomorrow? He's not gonna be here when I get home from work? Correct. So I get to scream at the football game? Yes, you can scream as loud as you want. And you can eat chili or you can eat chicken. It's going to be the best day <laughs> ever. Ever. Comment that down below. What made you guys happy today? We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Big day. Bye.